should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Hopefully they realize the campus closed and try the motel up the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Nine well, seconds. It sounds about right. this trail cam footage it's like they're looking for something
Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Jeez, MC really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. How long has this guy been here? Showtime, motherfuckers. Wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> going on out there should we go find the others no we're safer in here and it's nearly morning what the
How did you do it? How did you just keep two innocent people locked up for two months and not even blink? It's pretty cold, man. Did what I had to. It was necessary. Wow. Wrong answer. Necessary? You stole two months of my life. You changed me. I will never, ever be the same because of you. But at least I can move on. You know, I'll heal. You're the one who has to live with what you've done. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <laughs> Gotta be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Go team! This has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? 
I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. That's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This... This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. See it too? I kinda wish I hadn't. Same. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Stop. Are you sure about that?
about this? Shoot. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring, but it rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razor's cold and it stings. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homegoing queen? You once thought of me as a white knight on his steed. Now you know how happy I can be. Starts and ends without dollar one to spend. But how much, baby, do you really need? Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream?
psycho teens charged over summer camp murder. What do you make of that, Anton? Psycho teens would be